Sorry, Anne, go on. So, first of all, I'm going to say big hello to the lovely Michelle. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Everybody wait. Even though she's in Glasgow, we she, love her. She's not in Glasgow, she's in air. Near it. Yeah, she's got Rangers, though. <laughs> <laughs> As an Edinburgh born boy, all the, best, all the best people sport Rangers. You should know that. <laughs> anyway, let's get back. Shall we get back to this? Mind you, I don't know. I think I'd rather speak about Rangers, to be honest. <laughs> um, if I let's put it this way, if I were neutral watching that match, I would say it was a boring match between two struggling sides. Okay, from a Forest perspective, I can't don't get hold back at. I can see you biting your tongue about something. Yeah, I can't no, get excited about it. Up. We we set out for a, for a, a point. Mm. And we got a point. That's that's fantastic. The football was negligible. Mm. Uh, for my position at the top of Trenton, where you see the whole pitch, yeah. it was like two banks of four, basically. Um, two banks of four and Brennan doing what he always does, which is, I'm afraid to say, nothing at the moment. Mm. Um, the selection, I thought, was awful. I think the Mangal and O'Brien are automatics. I think Ryan Yeats was my personal man of the match, but I still think that O'Brien and, and Mangala are automatics. Steve yeah. Cook did absolutely fine because when Steve Cook plays right at the back with no space behind him, it is absolutely fine. But going forward, if we're honest, going forward, we didn't offer we didn't offer much. Mm. I mm. thought Emmanuel Dennis tried really hard and I'm, I'm keen on seeing him again. I, th I think he is Premiership quality, Premier League quality. Uh, I, my my favourite formation is 4-3-3 and I would have a one year in there. Uh, what more do you want to know? You can tell I'm not I'm not overexcited by it's what fine, I It's fine, no, but that's, that's why I want you on here because I want... All different types of views, yeah. And then I want to scrutinise those views. As I mean, well. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of happy, clappy. Yeah, we've got a point, and that is fantastic because we yeah. need to stop those losses. So please don't misunderstand what I'm saying. No, I'm not, and I will. I will back you up. And what I will say, and I'll bring Rads in in a sec, is what we don't want to fall into the trap of is the Leicester trap. I've seen all week Leicester fans saying, "Oh, we beat them, Forest. We're back. We're getting, we're going to sort it out. We may even push for Europe." All this nonsense, yeah. And then bang, they go and lose at the weekend. And what I don't want the fan base to do is suddenly think, "Right, we've got a point. We're going to go smash Wolves. We'll probably beat Liverpool, uh, Brighton, and maybe get a draw of Arsenal." You know, I think I think your tone sets the reality of where where our mindset should be. So. I yeah, get playing exactly like, playing like, playing like that, we will not get where we want to be. But mm. Steve Cooper himself did say that. Yeah. He did say, that is not how I want to play. Yeah. So credit to him. Yeah. He, like I say, he thought, I'm going to keep it as tight as I can and let's try and get out of this match without losing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to argue with you yet. I want to hear what Rads has to say first. <laughs> <laughs> 